inside the garage today. Uh, we're on the tail end of a tornado warning, so the weather's been pretty bad, uh, raining, so um, I'm trying to do something small and keep myself busy in the garage here, so I'm working on the steering column and the uh, old steering wheel and the steering box. I'll show you what I got going on with that. All right, so I got the steering wheel up here. I'll worry about these cracks and whatnot later, but I'm going to try to reuse this steering wheel for now. I'm going to put some primer on this here in a little bit probably to just get it to, so it's not rusty, but I want to address this first, the steering box. I goofed it up because I undid these bolts. I was trying to get it out of the Jeep or the truck when I was disassembling it and I didn't know what nuts went to what or bolts went to what so I was just undoing stuff thinking I could just slide it out um, eventually ended up taking these out and just took the whole thing off the vehicle but I sort it out get this closed back up so I can start working on another stuff and get it ready to go back into the truck when it needs to I have some the RTV like that self you know, the tube type ceiling. So I'm wondering if I can just do that and not have to worry about going and buying a seal for this. I don't want to do that. I'd rather just make my own seal with that. Alright, got the old seal off. Well, if anybody's wondering what the insides of a steering box look like, this is where the steering column goes into. Screw goes in here. This goes in here. Here's some balls that came out of the bearing that is in there. These must ride inside this groove like that. Okay, now it makes sense. Okay. So I tapped this bearing out of here. I had to take this out. I had to tap it out. Tap this out. I hope it didn't break anything. Um, put this back in. This bearing was in here. You have to take this out to get this out. <clears throat> now, try to load this thing up. So it's gonna go on here. Now, I should be able to just. get too excited or speak too soon but I think I got this thing whooped so now this goes in here but just gotta get a seal Dump some grease in there. Put the cap back on. We're ready to go. At least this end. Before I go and fill this with grease, let me see if I can find some kind of seal.
Shark sandals. Your shark sandals? Yeah. Where are they? About to make a seal. How does that sound? Good. Good. What the? No! I need light. Is this light? Can you turn that light on? Thank you. Whoa! Lost power there. power for a little bit there. Oh my god. This is really scary. Oh, I thought you turned that off. I guess we lost power again. This is really scary. I I like how we lose power after the storm's done. Yeah. Come back in an hour and tighten it down. I need to get some light in here. Power's still out. Ah. Alright, well while I wait for an hour for that seal to set before I tighten it down, and while our power's out, I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit. Got this all sanded down, all that white gunk off of it, and an hour's up, so let's tighten this bad boy up. Give that a shot of paint just to help slow down any future rust. I'm going to do the steering column. I got it primed right now. Um, but I'm going to do it the same color as I do like the body or the interior paint. So I'll get more paint later on. But here's the steering wheel. Finished product. Looks a lot better than it did earlier with all the cracks pieces missing out of it. Now this goes in here. All done. Looks good.